What is up content creators? In this video, I'm gonna go over 10 must have tools for all you streamers out there. Now I wanna make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna have a bonus tip that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Let's get into the video. The first bot on the list is Moobot. This is one of the OG bots for Twitch. It's free, you just fire up your account, log in, connect it to your Twitch and get going. It's super simple. We actually use this for our charity streams because it makes it really easy for our content creators to change the title of the stream without really having to get into the nitty gritty of special commands to do that. And uh, another OG bot is Nightbot. So you probably heard this a lot too. It is also free. I believe they do have paid plans that you can set up and customize the name of the bot. Um, the third bot we're talking about is Streamlabs bot. So this used to be Ankbot and it was kind of one of the OG host yourself bots. And I don't know how many years ago, two, three years ago, um, Streamlabs ended up consuming and taking over Inkbot and they turned it into Streamlabs chatbot. So this is a bot, if you want to host it yourself on your own computer, you can do that. They do have a cloud bot solution as well. The fourth one is DeepBot. And this is probably one of the oldest paid bots you could host yourself and I will say it's probably one of the most customizable and strongest bots you can use. In this sense, you can do a lot of backend scripting. So this is the bot I use on my channel. I believe it's five bucks a month. I have a lot of like custom commands invested into it. So they have a lot of really kind of fun mini games in there. Like we have like Jenga, we have slot machines and stuff. This one doesn't get updated a, a super ton, but uh, there are a lot of really cool features to it. I'd say if you're looking for a bot that you want to host yourself and you can afford the five bucks a month, definitely take a look at DeepBot. I believe you can get the, you can just go month by month. So uh, you don't have to commit to an entire year. The next thing I want to talk about is different tools you can use not only for emotes, but to better the chat and viewing experience on Twitch. So first up is better TTV or better Twitch TV. And again, this is a completely free product. You just go to betterttv.com and log in. It is a Chrome extension or a download. And uh, let's go to my dashboard here. So it gives you 15 additional channel emotes and then 15 shared emotes. And what the shared emotes are is anybody else that's used Better TTV you, and they set their emotes to be shared, you can use those on your Twitch channel. Now caveat for this and the next product we're going to talk about, your viewers need to have this extension installed to see these emotes, but this is a really great way to get 15 additional emotes that without the number of subs or without costing any money. What they also do here is a bot in your channel. You just type in the name of your bot and they'll put a special um, icon next to your bot in your Twitch chat. You have somebody that helps you manage your channel. You can put their name here and they can log into this website and actually kind of help you with emotes and whatnot, manage your emotes. There's a Discord sync, so any emotes you have in here can also go to your Discord. And then if you want to pay five bucks a month, you can get the pro plan, which gives you 50 emotes, 50 shared emotes, and then you get five non-gift personal emotes. So that's kind of cool. Here, plus for every month you stay a subscriber, you get additional emotes. So they really kind of kick up and you know, utilize that pay process to give you additional emotes. The next one I want to talk about is Frinker Face Z. This is also another Chrome plugin that betters the experience on Twitch. And I do believe personally, every content creator should have both these extensions. Frinker Face Z really goes into a lot of customization on how like chat looks, how the UI of Twitch looks. You also get emotes, community driven, as it says, you can change the chat experience. So it really kind of shows you a lot of what you can go into. They also have a paid feature here, permanent Franker Face Z supporter status. So as you can see down here, they have like a little upside down uh, Franker Z. The third tool every content creator should have on Twitch is closed captions. So there are two tools out there that uh, are kind of common amongst content creators, and that is Stream Closed Captioner. And over here on PubNub, there's another one. So you can go to either of these sites. Um, this one has an extension to install. You connect your Twitch account and get rolling. Over here, you have a lot more uh, kind of ability to tweak how things look. So you can start talking. They can really change how the captions look on your screen. So those are two products I definitely suggest you take a look at to add closed captions to your stream. The fourth tool every 
content creators should have on Twitch is Twitch pronouns. So we want to make our streams and our chat more inclusive. So a great way to do that is adding pronouns plugins. So you go over to this website, we'll put the link down in the description, log in with your Twitch, authorize it. And now you can kind of just go through all of the setups. So the first thing you do is select your own pronoun. I am a he, him. So I will submit pronoun set. And after you set your own pronoun, you need to get the Chrome extension. So you can click the little Chrome icon up here at the top left of the screen. And we'll go ahead and add this to Chrome. And then now let's go over to our channel. We'll refresh it. And there you go. The fifth tool every content creator on Twitch needs is Gilded. Now, this is an alternative to Discord. And there's a reason I went with Gilded here on this recommendation. They really care about content creators and this platform is legit. Let me get over here to my Gilded server that I set up as a test. And I can show you some of the really cool features they have and why you should look at making the switch. So here is my Gilded server and it looks very similar to other platforms you're used to. Some really kind of cool stuff here is it has you about you on the right. You can really set those and make it really easy for people to find your information. I have not gone through and set up my server, but I just did a test one here and I want to show you. One thing that is really, really heads above Discord is server calendar. You actually have a built-in calendar for your community where you can put in here upcoming events or upcoming streams or charity events you have coming up like movie nights so this is freaking incredible another thing they have is server forums so if you're used to like the old bulletin boards and forums you know have that within your community and i like this one too they have a whole like server doc section so you like attachments or kind of places you people want to go to find like important documents and whatnot they can just go right here and do that i highly suggest you head over to gilded.gg and snag your name and your server if you haven't already and really give it a go they have a partner program that's launching and you may have seen on their twitter they are getting a lot of really great content creators on board this platform is legit before we get over to the next tool let me know in the comment section below if there are any really cool tools that you use on your stream the sixth tool every content creator on twitch needs to use is obs ninja if you ever do collaborative events where you want to potentially have let's say a podcast where you have everybody on the same screen that you're streaming out or some sort of live round table this is the platform you want to use and all you do is you create a virtual room and people can go into that and attach their webcams to the platform they send you this custom browser source link you put that in your obs your streaming software their webcam is now in your stream so this is an amazing way to do collaborative events i could see this being used quite a bit with like dnd sessions maybe weekly news events that uh, people stream. So you can also remote screen share. If you're doing like a collaborative event and you with somebody else and you want to share your screen on their stream, you can get that link, share your stream, your screen, give them that link, they can put it out on their stream. So it's almost kind of like your own personal like Zoom, but you can use it in OBS. So definitely take, the, take a look at this. They have a really kind of cool video here that goes into um, how to how to use it. So you can see he has attached his camera to this web browser. He has this link and the link he's going to go over to his OBS. There you go. Now he's attached his camera in OBS. It's kind of a really cool way to share your screen, share your camera and uh, have those collaborative events. The seventh tool every content creator on Twitch needs to be using is Pretzel. Pretzel is a music platform that is 100% free and all of the music on the platform has been curated and made stream safe. What that means is all of the artists that submit their music to Pretzel have been compensated and they have given permission for that music to be used on any platform, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, I um, mean your videos and whatnot and it can be monetized and so they actually have a couple plans here they have a free plan which i believe what it does is you're playing the music and the pretzel bot will post a link 
to that song in your chat when the song begins playing. And then they have a premium plan, which you pay for, and you get a whole lot of really kind of cool features. Let's go take a look at here what the premium plan is. 150 bucks a year, so that's really not a bad deal for a ton of interactive music. 70% of the money goes to the artists. You don't have to have the rent, the mandatory chat attribution we talked about earlier. You can interact with it. You play any song, anytime, play, make your own playlist and seeking. So the free plan, what it does is it just randomly plays music throughout that catalog. You can pick specific channels, which are essentially categories of music. But with the paid plan, you can choose any song and make your own your own playlist. It's the platform I use. It's amazing. Uh, they have a really wide variety of music. So definitely take a look at it. The eighth tool every concert creator on Twitch should be using is stream labels. Stream labels are what they say. They're text files that have specific information that have to do with your community or actions on your stream. For example, if you've ever watched my stream, I will have on the screen the most recent subscriber, the most recent follow, the most recent person that has given bits to the channel. What those are, those are all stored in text files on my streaming computer through this program called Stream Labels from Streamlabs. And I'm able to put those text files live into OBS to show on screen. The great thing is those text files update instantly. So when somebody subscribes, information on that text file gets changed to whoever subscribed, and then you see it on the screen. Stream Labels is the way to go to keep the rewards from your viewers on screen. Number nine on our list of tools all content creators on Twitch should be using or know about is Nerd or Die. So this is a site that's all about having overlays and designs for content creators. They have a store where you can purchase icon packs, you can purchase overlay packs, streaming alert packs, but they also have a name your price section. I will link that down in the description below. And what that is, is you can go here and get anything on this page for free. They give you a suggested price. You can go with that price or you can set it to zero. It's really up to you. I highly suggest you give them a little tip, a little bit of money if you get it, but they have a lot of free assets here. Example, if you're using a stream deck, they have these clarity icon pack for your stream deck. That's what I use. It's pretty good. Back at the Christmas time, they had some naughty or nice alerts. So definitely go take a look here at Nerd or Die. And they also have a lot of really great animated overlay packs I've used in the past for other events. Take a look around their store. They're they're top notch and a lot of content creators use them. The 10th tool every content creator on Twitch should be using is Slink. So Slink is a platform that lets you put all of your links into one page. For an example, on your Twitter or your Twitch page, you can have a link to your Slink card here and it lists all of your sites. So your Twitter, your Twitch, your LinkedIn, your Instagram, your YouTube, uh, your TikTok. It's a single place to store all of your links and it makes it super easy for people to find you and get in touch with you if you need. And our bonus tool that every content creator on Twitch should be using is Rare Drop's multi-platform. So if you're not familiar, Rare Drop is a pretty amazing company within our industry that also runs Game Community Expo. GCX, they have this multi-site that you can do multi-streams on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube. You can have everybody on a single page. If you do a lot of collab streams with your friends and you don't have the option for a squad stream, utilize this platform and you can see everybody that's in your crew on a single page and share those views and have that really great interaction. And there you have it. 10 must have tools for every Twitch streamer out there. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really do hope it helped you out. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when the next video drops and we'll see you in the next one.